Turning now to the coronavirus pandemic and the push to help San Diegans and small businesses who can't pay their rent right now. Some city lawmakers will want to extend the eviction moratorium from September another six months forward into next year. Our Jamie Chambers is live for us with the details on that plan. Jamie. They're really just trying to stall out the payments that people have to make so they can keep as many people in their houses and in their businesses just as long as possible. And the city council president says that they're really looking for the federal government to step in. With the March San Diego City shutdown and tens of thousands of jobs erased from the economy from no fault of the workers or businesses facing this COVID-19 pandemic, city leaders announced an eviction and foreclosure moratorium allowing residents to stay put and ride out the health care emergency. But now landlords, tenants and banks are all looking down the road and measuring who will suffer the most. I think we're all waiting on the federal government to actually do something to be able to provide either relief to the landlord or relief to the renter, whichever way, but really address this real issue. City Council President Georgette Gomez is proposing an extension of the time tenants will have to pay back their rents from September 25th to March 2021. But real estate attorney Ken Sharp says these patchwork orders could be setting up a big problem. Dealing with evictions as well as foreclosures, when that is lifted, we will see probably over 100,000, if not a million, unlawful detainer actions. An unlawful detainer action is a legal proceeding for an eviction. Normally, someone doesn't pay you, you take them to court, and then they have to pay you or move out. But with so many potential evictions, Sharp says there is no way the current court system could handle it. We already have an impacted court system that we can't even have civil cases go to trial, only criminal cases. You'd have to set up your own separate court system just for that. Currently, Democrat and Republican leaders agree something holistic needs to be put into place to make sure that tenants don't become homeless and landlords eventually get their rent. But the way forward is still murky. Something will happen at the city of San Diego in mid-September uh, to, to be able to figure out, I'm not just going to let it in. So it really is a big question mark moving forward. This is uncharted economic territory. And really what it comes down to is good federal leadership could make this go relatively smoothly. Uh, a patchwork system might have disastrous effects. That's very